everybody will hear. I have a DJ. We're going to do a quick setup. Something I didn't show in the last video. Everything was already kind of set up. Just wanted to show you the ease with which to put this together. Um, I've imported uh, DJ, which is from Mickey Mouse. He uh, exported this out of uh, 3D Studio Max, which is an animation program, as a FBX format. And what FBX format does for us is that it remembers where all the pivot points are for the joints. And uh, we're going to use that information to move a couple servos. So I've chosen the right shoulder and also JDE's um, head for rotation for the two servers that we already have set up. I'm just going to use those since we already have those set up on the board. It'll move very quickly. So there's two different ways to go about setting up the servo connection. You can uh, go from here using the wire editor or you can come down here and use the add component. In this example we're going to use the wire editor only because it does everything globally and that way we can uh, do it all very quickly as opposed to going into each individual object and doing it from there. So first thing we're going to do is uh, open up the wire editor, we're going to right click, we're going to choose uh, add app So we've, and then right click again and then we're going to go to add comm socket Whoop. and we're going to connect those together so it's comm socket out into the white comm socket and then we're going to add a um, controller, motor controller, generic servo and then we're going to create a reactor add reactor, transform and we want the rotational axis which will give us X, Y, or Z input into the servo. So we're going to get the get angle, connect it to angle, and then owner gets connected to the app. So pretty simple. Again, they turn white to let you know exactly where you need to go. So this sets up the head. Now we're going to go set up the arm. And something I might mention is that these two are only added once for a project. Um, you can add as many servos and as, most, and as many reactors as you want, but these two only need to be created once globally. Um, so we'll go to, let's move this out of the way, we're going to go to the right shoulder now, and you can see here, this is the rotation for the right shoulder, and what we're going to do now is add another motor, oops, so we're going to go to Add a controller, motor controller, generic servo, and then we're going to do a reactor for this one. Add a reactor, transform, rotational axis. And these will go get angle into, whoops, into the angle. This and this owner goes into here. So pretty simple, and these are all kind of like springy, but. Um, the only thing we need to do here, which I didn't do on the lot, on the hedge setup, was change the ID and the pin number. So we're going to go over here to, this is the right shoulder we have selected in the inspector. We go over and we hit uh, sketch options and we're going to make this ID 1 and pin number 4, which is where I have it set up on the board. And that should be it for that one and then we're going to go back over to this one. We're going to scroll down, go to sketch options, keep that zero, and I think we connected it to pen two. Okay, so that is now reflected here in both of these. Next thing we need to do, we're going to close this out, we're done here. We're now going to go to um, search for the port, finds it on COM3, and each servo, each sorry, each rotational axis needs to be set up for which uh, which of the rotational values that we want to grab the info from. So for his head, we're going to want to uh, do Y, I believe, and then for his shoulder, 
we're going to do the x, but we have to change this forward axis. The forward axis and the up axis obviously can't be the same for so, but you can make it into any arbitrary uh, remainder y or z. Doesn't make a difference. It's just an orientation issue within the program, I believe. So um, that's everything set up. So we're going to go back to the head, which is where we set up the app and the COM port. And uh, before we do anything else, we're going to um, press play. Play puts you into active mode, otherwise it doesn't do anything. So once we press play, screen goes dark, it'll open us up in game mode. We'll see a lovely sunset that has nothing to do with what we're doing. So we're going to go back to the scene number, click on it. And then we're going to go to um, connect. So this, when we hit this button, this will connect through the serial port. Uh, the uh, board with the Unity game engine. So we click connect. Servos should move. Okay, there we go. So now we're connected. So if I just take uh, this yellow circle, that moves the head. And then if we go to the right shoulder, same thing. 180 degree rotation. That's it. Pretty simple. If you make any modifications over here to any of the generic servo stuff, if you want to change the uh, calibrated angle, minimum, maximum angle, or flip the invert the rotation, you have to turn off the play button or it will crash horribly. So you want to uncheck that then make your changes and then hit play again and then remember to hit connect again because it will disconnect once you stop with play. Um, that's about it. Next one hopefully will be um, animating some of these values so we can actually uh, record and play back motions over and over again but we're still obviously missing the main component which is to get away from this plugin and directly into EZB so that we can then use all of uh, Dynamixel plugins and all the other wonderful things that make up the EZ product line. So hopefully we're going to get uh, inch our way to that line. Anyways, that's it. Any questions, post them.